Welcome back everyone to another epic Subnautica guide. For today, we're going to be doing how to get into the lava zone, which is very, which is sort of the, nearing the end of the game. So if you're only about halfway through the game and you haven't got the Cyclops or the Prawn suit, I wouldn't recommend going here. But if you do, we'll just get straight into it. So what I recommend is you take your Prawn suit and you have the drill arm equipped for the prawn suit for mining some kyanite, which, will be, which I will make another video on once I've told you how to get to this lava zone. So, I'm going to get in the prawn suit. I'm going to dock it inside the cyclops. So, I've built a new dock of my own here just for the cyclops. And I'm going to hop and do it like so. There we are. Just easy like that, and then close that and go over here. So, I'm going to pilot sub and just reverse backwards, just out of my dock. So, what you want to do is you sort of want to turn, let see what direction is, sort of southeast to south in the middle of there, and just go straight forward from there, until you get into the bulb zone, which is quite apparent if you get in there. Just in that direction. Don't go too close to the aurora. You do know why. By, by this, by this time. So, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna try and get in the bulb zone. Just like so. So this is gonna be a bit. This is video is gonna be a bit longer because it's quite a bit of detail on how to get in. But once you know how to do it, it's pretty simple enough. So we're gonna go in here. It's kind of a night kind of thing. It's going to be very dark, so we're just going to go down this way. We go, just keep Just keep going. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that reef back. And um, what I'm going to do real quick is I am going to turn on. I'm going to turn on the floodlights. So, yeah, there we go. Floodlights are on. That should hopefully help me see a bit better. And here's the mushroom forest. And we're just gonna keep going forward. Keep going. And we're going to get to the bulb zone eventually. So once you get there, I'll give you the next set of instructions. Right, so guys, what you want to do is, I'm just going to come off this, open up your PDA, and you're going to see Life Pod 12, hopefully. Now you want to turn on the beacon for that, and you'll see it down there. So, once again, take control of your Cyclops, and just carefully pilot it down, keeping in mind that there are mushroom, the mushroom forest is below you, and you need to be careful when you bump into any of those facts by accident because that wouldn't be very good for either of you. So once you come into render distance of the bulb zone, you'll know you're going to the right place. So, just go down. And we're going to eventually see, there they are, there's the bulb trees. So, 
There's a couple of enemies around us. Just keep checking your sonar just in case. And so you just want to keep going. Oh no. Uh, just ignore them. They'll lose interest eventually. So once you're here at the life pod, you want to keep going on just slightly. Now you keep, like, stay alert. So once you, now, once you get to this ginormous spire from the end of the ground, if you remember from my other guide, we went right. But we want to go left this time. Now there's the amp fields. Just avoid them. Yes, I know, Cyclops. Oh, my goodness. Right. So then you'll eventually come to this big dip. Now, you put on your sonar, because you presumably have it, and then you're going to see this ginormous big dip. You want to go into this dip here. Now, this is also a, a way of getting into the Lost River. So, you're just going to keep going down, keep going down, by pressing forward, make sure you don't hit the thing, and now you'll see a ginormous big cave opening in the floor. You want to go into there. It looks menacing, but trust me, I mean, you'll be alright if you listen to my instructions. So, just keep going in, and you'll eventually see the green, briny stuff that you would in the Lost River. Just keep going in. Now, do mind, it's a wee bit of a tight squeeze, but once you're in, it's all smooth. So, once you're in here, go in here. I'm just going to turn off my sonar now because that's screaming. On my power. Now just watch out for these spires. There's a couple of rubies on the walls. Now, fair warning, guys. There is bone sharks, um, river prowlers, and unfortunately, a ghost leviathan here. So you need to be careful. But with my previous guide on how to get the decoy, you should have the decoys now. Nail be very helpful in distracting the ghost leviathan. Uh, which gives you just enough time to get down into your place. So, just keep going, just keep calm, keep the cool. I'm going to turn on my sonar again, because you want to go, oh, you don't want to keep going. You want to go along uh, quite the distance until you, when you spot the Ghost Leviathan, that's when you know you're uh, at the point. Once you're at that point of the Ghost Leviathan, you want to go down the way. And you'll then, there'll be another big dip in the ground where you can go in to the place with the lava zone. So I'm just make, I'm just checking the whole place out just to see if I can spot the Leviathan before it spots me. Obviously, the Cyclops making a lot of noise. If you can risk it far, you can put on red for silent running. But if you just want to go straight in, you don't really need to. There's a river prowler there, we'll just ignore that. Please go away, thank you very much. They're all over the place, honestly. And they're very annoying, more than scary. So, just keep going. And look there, you can see like a big gap in the floor. Now, this is the point where you'll start to notice... Hmm, it boosts the bath. Ah. So, you want to just go down, down, down. This sonar is really invaluable. And there we are, there's the big beauty of the Ghost of Iron. So you just want to keep going down. I should not have hit that, because now it sees me and it's dashing right for me. But you see this ginormous hole in the ground, and you just want to keep going. Now, the creature attack is there. Try not to bash into everything like I'm doing very idiotically. I deployed a decoy there just to destroy it. Uh, there's an infected manta ray, or whatever they're called, ghost rays, I think. And just want to keep going down. Just keep going down. Just keep calm, and everything will be alright. Just be quicker than it, and we'll lose it. And now you see, we're going very deep down. About 1,000, more than 1,000 meters. And look, here we have our lava. So, this is the lava zone. So, there's only one way to go from here, and that is this way. Now you can hear the roaring of the sea dragon leviathan, probably the most dangerous creature in the game. I'm just going to keep going forward. I'm going to keep the sonar on 
because I'm able to risk the par uh, just so I'm able to see and I'm not smashing into everything. You can see the textures in the walls have changed and bada bing bada bang you're in the lava zone and there's the sea dragon. So that's that guys that's how you do that's how you get into the lava zone. So my next guide will be how you get into the thermal plant and then how you get the kainai as well. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!